morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human body is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, without doctors, without drugs, without insurance companies and Obamacare and diagnostics, without the medical model, it does it on its own, but it needs raw materials to do its work. The raw materials we call nutrition and nutritional supplementation, and while it may seem like a miracle to some folks, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, ingredients, formulations, skin care, something you may have read or heard about on the news, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right, right off the website. You can also click on the Join the Team link and join the Brightside Ben team. Help spread the word about how important and powerful a good nutritional supplement program can be. You can start yourself a little business and make some money, earn thank you checks, earn some significant money. Some folks are making quite a significant amount of money, amount of money by helping people understand the power of a good nutritional supplement program. You can call 866-735-2470 also if you want to talk to somebody in person, 866-735-2470. And if you want to purchase any Truth Treatment products, including my Truth Retinol Gel, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so we're going to finish up talking about lipofuscin, lipofuscin today, dead cell pigment, lipo for fat, fuscin for dark, dark fat, it's oxidized fat, rancid fat, dead cell debris, stuff that accumulates in the brain, in the intestines, in the spleen, in the kidney, in the heart, and on the skin. So it shows up on the skin as brown spots. Not the pigment stuff. We're going to talk about the pigment in our next show. We'll talk about pigmentation, melasma as it's called, and ways that you can address that. This is different. This is lipofusion, aging pigment. It's deep down inside the body, not on the surface. There's two important facts here about lipofusion. Number one, it is a sign of aging breakdown. It is not superficial. It is not cosmetic. It is a sign of accelerated aging or the sign that the aging process is kicked in. And number two, it involves the fat system, the fat drainage system, the lymph system. The lymph can be thought of as a drainage system for the body's dirt and wastes, which tend to be fatty as well as a delivery system. The lymph also delivers vitamins. It also delivers essential fatty acids. And anything we could do to improve the movement of fluid throughout the lymph, which is part of the circulatory system, is going to improve our health, it's going to improve our appearance, and it's going to improve our longevity as well. Lymphatic congestion, which is a classic, classic, classic sign of the body slowing down, of clogging, of stagnation, it always precedes toxicity, and it follows toxicity as well. Lymphatic congestion is related to toxicity as a cause and as an effect, and it's especially related to foods, to digestion. And this uh, lymphatic congestion element is behind pretty much all health challenges you can name, including cancer, heart disease, accelerated aging, organ failure, brain health issues, heart health issues. Lymphatic congestion is a serious, serious issue because health is about dynamics. It's about movement. Health is fluid dynamics. 
And the lack of health is always preceded by stagnation and by clogging, which lead to more stagnation and clogging. Stagnation and clogging lead to toxicity, and then toxicity leads to more stagnation and clogging, which leads to more toxicity, and you get this downward spiral. Life is dynamic. The body and its systems need to be able to move, and the fluids need to be able to flow. Stagnation is always the enemy, and it always shows up as circulatory problems, digestive problems, inflammation, as well as cosmetic challenges. Cellulite, classic cosmetic challenge. Cellulite is one of the most troubling and distressing of all cosmetic health challenges. Doctors say it's incurable. And by doctor standards, it is incurable. There's nothing doctors can do. There's no, no tool in the, in the uh, medical model tool chest that can do anything about cellulite because it's a degenerative process. In fact, nothing is cured. The word cure, meat is cured. That's the only thing that gets cured. Cure is a silly, childish, magical word that is used to dismiss the ideas that we talk about here every day on the bright side, the simple ideas about health. It's a way of being dismissive. The idea that the body resolves biochemical issues is what we talk about on the bright side every day. The idea that the body does the healing. The body is the doctor through God, through the divine force, whatever you want to call it. The body resolves unhealthy situations. It doesn't cure them. It resolves them. It just returns them to healthy functioning. That's not a cure. That's called homeostasis, which means returning to stability. The body is a homeostatic system. It doesn't cure anything. It just returns things. Once the toxicity is removed, once there are nutrients available for the body to do its work, and once there's plenty of oxygen for cells to do what they need to do, the body returns itself to stability because our nature is to be healthy. We wouldn't have made it. Two million years, or however long you want to say the human, uh, the human species, Homo sapiens, have been around, we wouldn't have made it for two million years, or 500,000 years, or however long you want to say. We couldn't have survived if we were obese and had diabetes and heart disease and cancer at the rates that we have them today. So the human body has evolved to be perfect, to, to resolve problems. The only reason we're so sick is because we've overwhelmed these resolution uh, mechanisms these systems that are in place for resolving, resolving health challenges. As far as cellulite, go, the cellulite goes, that's mostly a female issue because it's mostly an estrogen issue. Estrogen is an anti-lymphatic, or excess estrogen or imbalances of, uh, of estrogen have anti-lymphatic effects. Estrogen is a fluid retention hormone. It's a swelling hormone. Why? Well, fluid retention and swelling and water dynamics, those are involved in cell division. And estrogen's main role is to make cells divide. It's a baby-making hormone. Estrogen is a cell division hormone that requires fluid and excess estrogen, imbalances in estrogen, cause swelling and fluid retention, as any woman knows. And this slows down lymphatic circulation. It causes a lymphatic leakage in that. Lymphatic leakage, along with the breakdown of collagen and connective tissue, is the cause of cellulite. What can your doctor do about that? Nothing. What can we do about it? Everything. Just a rebounder can... A mini trampoline can help you reduce your cellulite, let alone all the nutritional supplements we've been talking about here for the last week or two about how to keep the lymph, uh, keep the lymph moving. To reduce, to prevent, or even eliminate cellulite, in addition to all your building strategies, co building collagen and connective tissue, using your glucogel caps and bone soup and high hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, making sure you're getting enough protein, uh, whey protein especially, B vitamins, vitamin C, the Healthy Star Pack, everything we talk about every day on the bright side. These are all building strategies, and that's how you want to take care of your cellulite. You want to build connective tissue in addition to keeping your lymphatic system, the lymphatic fluids moving. So lymph, uh, lipofusion, like cellulite, is a sign of sluggishness, poor drainage of toxins, and the accumulation of cellular debris. It's a marker, or maybe even a cause, of accelerated aging. The way to address it is to improve circulation with movement, with breathing, by eliminating toxicity. And sugar is always, or after a little bit of sugar, sugar is an uh, example of a toxin. All of this increases fluid leakage from the lymph vessels, creates congestion. And that's what's associated with lipofusion and lymph. There's also supplements that you can take. I'll tell you about those when we come back from our break on Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this.
we're back on the bright side. Got a couple lines open for you. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you here momentarily. I'm going to finish up Lipofusion, and then on our next program, we're going to talk melanin, pigment, and what you could do topically. You can't do anything topically really for lipo fusion, but you can do lots topically for dark spots that are melanin based. We'll talk about that. Uh, we'll f I'm going to finish up lipofusion for sure today and then um, and we'll get to melanin. We're still talking skin. There's so much more I want to tell you about the skin um, and keeping in mind skin health really is body health. Anything that you do for your skin is going to help your body as well from a nutritional standpoint. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you're in the Minnesota area, Minneapolis, Minnesota, I'll be doing a talk Monday evening at the Faith Tabernacle Gospel Church, 2025 North 4th Street, Minneapolis, Minnesota. I love Minnesota, but just not in the wintertime. So uh, hopefully it's not too hot there. Anyway, uh, call Clinton Scott, 763-221-8432, 763-221-8432. We'll talk longevity, we'll talk health, we'll... Uh, uh, we'll talk about a, a bunch of really basic, simple strategies. And we don't, we get into the specifics here on the bright side, but we haven't really talked about the general principles of health. Uh, and there's quite a, now that, you know, there's, there's a, quite a few general strategies and they're really important because it helps put these, these, uh, these uh, specific ideas that we talk about here, that we've been talking about here into perspective. The idea that all disease is cell disease, all cell disease is blood disease. Your diagnosis does not matter. Your diagnosis is just a description in Latin of what's happening in the body. And if some, some medical professional wants to give you a description in Latin of what's happening in the body, that's great, but they shouldn't charge you for it. You go in and tell him, oh, my muscles hurt. And he says, oh, that's fibromyalgia. That'll be $200, please. That's not right. They tell you what you have in Latin, and then they bill you for it. That's a diagnosis. So your diagnosis doesn't matter. Disease is generic, as special as it may seem to us with all our, our fancy diagnosis. It's almost like we feel like our disease is like our, the team that we root for. We have, we have associations and foundations, and we wear hats and T-shirts, fight this disease or fight that disease. I have diabetes. I have depression. I am a diabetic. We identify with our diseases, but unfortunately, for those of us who are identifying with our diseases, they're all generic. They're all the same thing. All diseases cell disease. All cell disease is blood disease. That's all, folks. Dirty blood. It all involves stress in terms of distress. It all involves the sympathetic nervous system, the stress nervous system. It all involves inflammation, immunity. There's a, a square of health, exercise with a little bit of stressing, a little tiny bit of stressing, just to spark things up, along with oxygenation and nutrition, and there's a triangle of disease. We, these are the basic ideas that we talk about here on the Bright Side. And uh, that's what I'll be talking about anyway on Monday, on, uh, Monday in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hope to see you out there. And if you're interested in attending, we'll be, uh, registration starts at 5 o'clock. It's a $10 fee per Longevity distributor. Guests are free. Call 763-221-8432 if you want more information. If you're interested in joining my team, the Brightside Ben team, please call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Love to have you aboard. And if you want to purchase any longevity products, head over to Brightside Ben, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. All right, so as far as supplements go for helping with lipofusion, zinc is important. There's something called DMAE dimethyl amino ethanol, DMAE, which is naturally present in the brain. It's found in anchovies and sardines. DMAE is considered the non-essential nutrient. It's not an essential nutrient. It's still good. It's important, but it's considered the non-essential nutrient for lipofusion, the most important of the non-essential nutrients for lipofusion. DMAE is also extremely important for brain health, for people who are dealing with Alzheimer's disease or dementia. By the way, did you hear about Robin Williams? Apparently, Robin Williams had dementia, they found. They found little dots little, almost like lipofusion in his brain. They call them Lewy bodies, L-E-W-E-Y, and they call it Lewy body dementia, as if it's a specific thing. But it's not. It's just aging of the brain. It's just oxidation of cells in the brain. It's just the accumulation of dirt in the brain. The dirt they call Lewy bodies, but it's just dirt in the brain. DMA is very important for helping protect against dirt in the brain because it's a, it helps support drainage, helps support the opening of blood vessels. Very important for memory, concentration, focus, alertness, vision, hearing. It also contributes to the reduction of hyperactivity, anxiety, jitteriness. 
If you're a coffee drinker, you're drinking lots of caffeine, soda pop, DMAE can help stabilize things. If you're noticing a little bit of jitteriness, taking a little bit before you go to bed may help you with sleep. DMAE also has been used topically. A guy named Nicholas Perricone, which many of you have heard of, became famous by uh, suggesting that women use DMAE topically for wrinkles. Now, I personally have never seen it work. I actually had a conversation with Dr. Perricone many years ago before he became famous, and uh, I asked him about that. I said, how the heck is DMAE working? And he couldn't really tell me, so I'm not buying it for topical as far as anti-wrinkles go, but nonetheless, it has been used that way. DMA internally, now that can be very helpful, uh, very helpful for, for the skin in addition to having anti-lipofusion benefits. DMAE, according to the American Journal of Clinical Dermatology, a 2005 article, DMAE uh, has anti-inflammatory effects in the skin. It also improves skin firmness, and according to this article anyway, it may even improve underlying facial muscle tone. That is, it may have anti-wrinkle effects when you take it internally. Take 50 to 100 milligrams a day. You can't really overdose on it. You take even up to 200 milligrams a day of DMAE, dimethyl amino ethanol. That's the go-to non-nutritional supplement for helping drain away lipofusion. Lecithin is also important. I love that stuff, lecithin, for the brain. Also very important for brain health issues, for uh, reducing the symptoms of dementias, for cognitive impairment, for memory health. Of course, we talk about lecithin all the time as a digestive aid. It's a component of bile. It's very important for fat digestion. You see how all this is linked to fats. Lecithin helps with fat drainage. Lecithin helps with the lymph. Less than is just a superb all-around nutritional supplement. It's not an essential nutrient or anything, but it's just very, very helpful, and it's also helpful for lipofusion. Two other super nutrients for minimizing the effects, or minimizing the accumulation, I should say, of aging pigment is number one, vitamin E, which we talked about yesterday. Super underappreciated. Maybe the most underappreciated of all vitamins. You're not going to find it in a lot of foods. You pretty much have to supplement with vitamin E, whose main role is to protect fats. Having enough vitamin E has also been shown to keep cells from making lipofusion. Not only does vitamin E help improve lymphatic movement so you can drain away lipofusion, it actually protects against the production of aging pigment. It slows down the breakdown and the degradation of products, that, of uh, cellular byproducts that are the root cause of lipofusion, and it also it helps uh, prevent oxidation of fats, helps prevent fats from turning rancid, and deficiencies in vitamin E are very, very common. If you're not dosing or supplementing with vitamin E, chances are pretty good that you're going to be deficient in vitamin E. One thing vitamin E doesn't do is it's not going to help your scars. I, this, this rumor still persists that you can put vitamin E on a scar. It doesn't help scars, so let's forget about that one. Once you've got a scar, it's a scar. A scar, by definition, isn't going away. That's what a scar is. It's permanent. If it's not permanent, it's not a scar, which is why you can't do anything for scars. They're permanent. They're actually a good thing. It's the way the body makes a, a part of it, a part of itself stronger. It reinforces an area that it has, anyway, has a history of weakness. So a scar is something that's going to be permanent. Vitamin E is not going to help a scar, but vitamin E has got some tremendously important skin health benefits, not the least of which is it's, it's anti-lipofusion. All right, well, there's the music. I had a couple more things to say. I'll, we'll finish up when we come back from our break. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you as well. Uh, let's see. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Hang tight. We'll get your calls here just one minute. I want to just, uh, well, I want to tell you about a few of these vitamins that are great for lipofusion. Vitamin A is important. We'll talk about vitamin A as it regards melanin pigment. It's super important for melanin. Internal vitamin A is also important. Do you know vitamin A is an anti-diabetic vitamin? You know, you can always tell medical ignorance by certain things that a medical professional says. And one of the things that medical professionals tell you is that vitamin A is toxic or you not to take too much vitamin A or if you're pregnant not to use vitamin A or if you're pregnant not to even put vitamin A on top of your skin. Classic sign of medical ignorance. Vitamin A is a building vitamin. If you're building a baby, you need vitamin A. If you're building anything, you need vitamin A. If you're a diabetic, you need vitamin A. Vitamin A deficiencies are very common, and vitamin A is incredibly important for the skin, as well as for lipofusion. We'll talk about that on our next Bright Side episode. And uh, if you're interested in protecting yourself from excess cholesterol, you should know that the lymph is essential for helping drain out cholesterol. If you're interested in uh, reversing or reducing or preventing any, any 
degenerative health issue, you should know that the lymphatic system and lymphatic congestion need to be addressed always. From, uh, let's see, doo -doo 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 -doo, where is this from? Medicalexpress.com. Sepsis, the largely unknown condition that puts one million people in the hospital each year. Well, yes, it's largely unknown for folks not listening to the bright side, but if you listen to the bright side, you know we're always talking about sepsis. We don't call it sepsis, we call it dirty blood. And yes, sepsis is a serious, serious problem. Now the medical folks, they talk about infectious sepsis, uh, acute sepsis, but what they never tell you about is long-term, chronic, degenerative, progressive sepsis that occurs as the digestive system breaks down. This is uh, another article from the journal Oncogene. Disrupting cells powerhouses can lead to tumors. The cells powerhouses are called mitochondria and they, work, they, they make energy. They're your energy, burn, uh, your energy producers, energy factories. When the energy factories break down, tumors begin. Why? No energy or less energy leads to stagnation and stagnation is always the enemy. You guys, if you want corroboration of anything we talk about here on this program, and you should always be, as Ronald Reagan said, trust yet verify. You always want to corroborate everything before you, before you just uh, go, and, go ahead and act on it. Just go to scholar.google.com or pubmed.com. I get lots of, inform lots of my information I get from scholar.google.com and pubmed.com. And if you want to corroborate anything we talk about here on this program, just look it up. Just Google it. Uh, or scholar Google it, I should say, scholar.google.com or uh, PubMed, pubmed.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the Bright Side. Mary in Oregon, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Ben. I just called to give you a chance to talk about the Transform Your Temple program, if you know anything about it. Uh, I like the way it sounds, but I don't yeah. really know what it is specifically. I, I assume you mean your body temple, right? Uh, Jordan Rubens. Program. Oh, I love Jordan I'm not Rubin. Familiar with that yet? I, you know what? I, I think I did vaguely hear about it, but I, if Jordan Rubin, if Jordan Rubin says it's okay, I'm buying. I, I'm agreeing. He's, that guy's brilliant. I mean, real, and aside from being just a beautiful human being, one of the most beautiful human beings that I've ever met, uh, and brilliant. The guy knows the body. He knows digestion specifically, and uh, also he's a very spiritual man, as you probably know. So I'm sure uh, Transform Your Temple has something to do with that, right? Yes. Why don't you get him on to talk about it? You know what? That's a great idea. That's a I'm great idea, Mary. And, and I will I get him know, on. Yeah, I've been meaning exactly to talk to him. About. No, I'm going to look into that. I, I do. Now that you're bringing it up, I do remember uh, vaguely hearing about it, and I'm just a big fan of Jordan. So, uh, and I think I will. I'm going to call him up and see if he'll see if he'll come on the bright side. Anything we can help you with, Mary? No, you helped me so much, Ben. But uh, let me say that anytime I call, you feel free to talk as long as you need to, and also as long as you want to talk about skin, I am listening. Are you good with that? It, I, so keep it are up. you good with that? You think I should? Because that's my favorite part. You know, I've been working with skin for so long that I feel like I know the stuff inside out, and I really want to share it with people because there's so much misunderstanding and baloney out there about the skin. You know, that's why. I, you know what I call my new company, my skincare company? I call it the Truth because I was so sick of the lies and the dishonesty. And I, I mean, it's endemic, it's built in to the skincare business because the skincare business has originated with superficiality and marketing. And that's a whole nother interesting story. There's a really cool book called Hope in a Jar. Uh, and there's another one that's, I forgot who wrote that one. That's the Helena Rubinstein story. Uh, and she's, she was the first lady to associate marketing and, and, and uh, power and beauty with skin care in a big way. And uh, the Hope in a Jar is the Helena Rubinstein story. There's another really cool book called uh, The Beauty Myth by Naomi Wolf. And that's another good book that talks about the scammery that is the standard way of doing business with skincare. We'll, we'll be talking about that for a while, so don't worry about that, Mary. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. And thanks for bringing that up to me, that uh, Transform Your Temple program. And we will try to get Jordan Rubin on the program. Thanks, Mary. Have a great day. All right, Ray, in Oklahoma, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I'm doing fine, sir. How can we help you, my man? Hey, it, I'll be 60 Christmas. Happy and birthday. And I woke up Happy a month 60. ago and I'm, I, and I'm talking like this. Are you, and, are you serious or are you kidding? Rate, are you sir, kidding me? Or my you? heart rate is at about a 40. You just woke up like that? I just woke up this way, man. Not and today. And I've been active my whole life. I've ran... 
I, I go get a hammer, and I don't walk to go get that hammer. I, I will run. So when did you wake up like that? Today? A month ago. And it hasn't gotten better? And it hasn't gotten better. Uh, lots I of things. Had, I had an MRI. And I, and I walk funny. I don't walk That's straight. a stroke. My, I that walk sounds like, like I'm drunk. That sounds like a stroke, my friend. I that know like, when they sent me and did an MRI and I did not have a stroke. No, they couldn't find where you had a stroke. They couldn't find anything. The same thing happened to my dad, by the way. Last year, he just took a fall he, and he passed out. And when he woke up, he, was, he wasn't my dad anymore. He was like well, somebody I'm else. Not, I'm not my kid's dad no more. Yeah, and they said the same thing. They said there was nothing there, but it doesn't matter what they say. You've got the effects of it. So you want to start building up your body again. There's lots you can do. Ray, everything we talk I'm about on this... I'm scared to death. Well, yeah, I, can, I don't blame you. I don't blame I'm you, but there's lots you can do. I'm years old. All right, Ray, calm down, my friend. A couple things that you want to do right away, all right? And you should start doing this today. I wouldn't wait a minute. Start practicing slow, deep breathing. You need to be oxygenating your brain. The reason when you have Let a stroke, you, all this, slow sleep breathing. this is what I want you to do, Ray. I'm going to tell you a bunch of stuff now and don't worry about it because you're not going to be, if you've got something going on in the brain, you may not catch everything I say. So I want you to send me an email. All right. Ben at KSCO.com and put your phone number in there and I'm going to call you back and I'll work with you personally. In the meantime, let me just tell you some stuff so the listeners can hear and maybe you'll catch a couple of things. It's very important that you start oxygenating. When you have a stroke, the main reason you have a stroke is you're losing oxygen or you lost oxygen and part of the brain dies. So oxygen is extremely important. Slow, deep breathing. It's important for everybody. It's extra important for you. You've got to be super conscious about the foods you're eating. Any foods that increase inflammation or that cause a dramatic inflammatory response are going to also slow down oxygen delivery and that's not in your interest. So so eating less food and then staying away from any food that causes constipation or cramping or bloating or any kind of digestive problems. You want to start doing liquids. Bone soup is your best, uh, best food friend. Bone soup with real chicken. When you drop a chicken in the pot and turn it into soup, uh, I got a recipe that I'm putting up on Truth Treatments, or the Truth with Ben, I'm sorry, my Facebook page. I have a recipe for bone soup coming up there, uh, coming up uh, probably this week or next. Vitamin C is important. The BTT is important. Hang on, Ray. I'll get you a couple more things. If you're on hold, we'll get to you as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're in the Minneapolis, Minnesota area, hope to see you at uh, the Faith, ba Faith Baptist Church. Uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, that's uh, 2025 North 4th Street, Faith Tabernacle Gospel Church. I'm sorry, Faith Tabernacle Gospel Church. Call Clinton Scott, 763-221-8432. Love to see you out there. That's this Monday. Uh, registration begins at 5 p.m. I'll probably go on around 6 or 6.30. And again, call Clinton Scott at 763 Let's see, where the heck is it? 763-221-8432. All right, Ray in Oklahoma, I'm going to give you a bunch of ideas here, my friend, uh, but then I want you to send me an email with your phone number on there, and then I'll call you, and we'll do this thing. I'll work with you personally. Hey, Just for, Ben, tell me yep. your email again. Okay, it's Ben, B-E-N, my name, obviously, at K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar, dot com. Ben at KSCO.com and put your phone number on there, Ray. All right, so K -S -C -O for KSCO. Perfect. Dot com. Dot com. Got you, man. Okay. All right, so here's the deal. You, I can't imagine why, how anybody could think you're not have, you didn't have a stroke if you didn't talk like that before and you, and you were walking no, normally. No, I, I, I didn't no, talk like that. It sounds like it's a classic, pretty much. And like I say, I don't what, necessarily. Did your dad get all right, B? No, he didn't. And he's not, you know, he's, he's gone. And they said it was no stroke. I'm not saying that for you, Ray. You're a lot. You're 25 years younger than he is. So you yeah. got a lot going on, and you were healthier before, and he wasn't. See, so you, I weigh 190, and I'm 5'11". That's not necessarily a problem. Listen, I know, Ray. That's every, great. We're going to get you taken care of, buddy. All right. Now, I'm not saying you might. I don't know how 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 far along you are, and I'm not saying you're going to be completely back, but you could be theoretically. First thing you want to do is you want to start to eliminate, or you want to eliminate all your problem foods. And the second thing you want to do is you want to start using nutrition. Eliminate problem foods, number one. That's very, very important. And then you want to start using nutrition. Soups and juices are your best friend, especially bone soup. 
Bone soup is incredibly important. We've got to rebuild things. The whole healthy start pack is going to be important for you. You're going to need high doses of vitamin C. I probably would take extra vitamin C. And then today, as soon as you hang up the phone, start your deep breathing. Oxygen is extremely important. And stay in completely, 100%, as best as you can, close to 100% as you can, away from sugar and refined flour, which really messes up the circulatory system. And then uh, as far as specific nutrients go, vitamin C I already mentioned, vitamin E is very important. I'd be using 400 to 800 international units a day of mixed tocopherols, T-O-C-O-P-H-E-R-O-L-S. Don't worry about all, getting all these names because I'm going to talk to you personally, Ray. And then also magnesium can be very helpful for opening up the circulatory system. I would probably be using a little progesterone also or pregnenolone cream, progesterone cream or pregnenolone capsules. And DHEA might also help you as well. So much you could do, Ray. And then last but not least, move your body around. Get on a lymph, uh, on a rebounder to move your lymphatic system. Uh, brisk walks, anything to do to improve your circulation. I'm uh, still be... working, sir. Good for you. You keep doing it, man. Get yourself a rebounder and jump on the rebounder every morning. Costs you about sixty bucks. Ray, I'm gonna let I you go. Hopefully, sir, hopefully I'll get... I don't need a rebounder. I walk. A half okay. Mile All right. Day. Well, then you can do that as well. Uh, give me a call and, and I'll work with you personally, my friend. Thanks so much for calling. God bless you, Ray. I hope everything works out. And I hope to hear bye from bye. you. Bye bye. Bye bye, brother. Okay, Brian in New Hampshire. What's up? Hey, Ben, I called Monday. I, I, I wanted to talk to you about eggs. I'm not sure okay. if you recall that question. I vaguely, I'm, that was five days ago. My memory. I, I know, and I apologize. <laughs> Let, okay. Quick refresher. I have, I, usually I have a problem with people that declare they're on paleo diets. Oh, yeah, I remember talking to you. We talked paleo. Right. Yes, I have a problem recently, with paleo. Recently, I've uh, had problems with people that you cite uh, uh, these doctors from nutritionfacts.org that say eggs lead to diabetes, eggs cause Oh, dementia, I remember. I looked that up cancer. after I talked to you. After I talked to you, you were the one who said Robert Young said bacteria came from eggs and that thing. Was that you? I think, well, that's actually related, but yeah. Yeah, I read that. I'm not buying any of it. We grew up eating eggs. Right. Human beings ate eggs. Human beings are omnivores. That means we eat everything. We're opportunistic eaters. The idea that there's a problem with eggs, I'm not talking about processed eggs and cooked eggs, and, but just eggs as a food. The idea that it's a problem food is pure ignorance. Ignorance with a capital I. It is nature's perfect food. Do some people have allergies to eggs? Yes. Any living protein or, or formerly living protein, which is what eggs are, are going to have a potential for allergens, and some people are allergic to eggs. That's true. No disputing that. But as far as the nutritional value of eggs goes, only a bimbo, a nutritional moron, would ever say that there was a problem with eggs. Now, I agree, there's the, the whole allergy problem. That's true. But now you got people like, I don't even want to mention their names, people talking about this stuff called TMAO and cancer and atherosclerosis and cholesterol. Just nonsense. An egg is life. It's a cell. You're eating everything you need to make a cell when you eat an egg because an egg is a cell. That means the zinc and the omega fatty acids and the carotenes and the flavonoids and the, and the vitamin E and the vitamin D and the omega fats. I mean, it's just a ridiculously powerful food. Now, if you don't like the taste, that's one thing. Cooking is also a problem because once you cook a protein, you can create problematic changes. Likewise, when you cook a fat and when you cook cholesterol. So you want to slow cook your eggs or cook them very, very shortly or even eat them raw. And by the way, as far as raw eggs go, there's some people talking about this stuff called uh, avidin, A-V-I-D-I-N, -E which is found in raw eggs. It's cooked away. And some people will tell you, well, you don't want the avidin and you don't want your eggs raw because it ties up a, one of the vitamins called biotin. And that's true. But the amount of avidin that you're getting in an egg is so small. Just take, a, so take extra biotin. That's all. Take, take your healthy star pack with your eggs. Sip on your BTT with your eggs. You'll get plenty of biotin. So that's, that's more nonsense, the idea that raw eggs contain a factor that will tie up B vitamins. Just eat, some more, just eat your eggs and take more B vitamins, especially biotin. Long story short, Brian, eggs are powerful food. And just like I was saying earlier how you can always tell when somebody, when there's, a medical, when there's some medical ignorance going on or biochemical ignorance, if somebody tells you, oh, uh, wear sunscreens. Don't go out in the sun. Wear sunscreen. Bingo. You got a biochemical ignoramus if they say that. If they say throw out your yolks and just eat your whites, likewise, biochemical ignoramus. If, uh, if somebody tells you to uh, not to eat eggs at all, same deal. It's a perfect, wonderful food unless you have an egg allergy, which does happen. It's actually one of the more common allergies along with dairy and gluten. Is okay. that good? Does that help you? Fair, along the same, same point, the people that make this argument are usually 
vegans that say, you know, you should only eat 10% of your diet should be protein, 80% of your diet should be carbohydrates. I, now, that's no. backwards, in my opinion. That's backwards. I, I don't know if you, you need 80% protein. protein. I, you, yeah. you know, I don't know how are you going to... Listen, Brian, when somebody says 10% this, 15% that, 30% this, 30%, how do you know? Well, how do you know it's not 28%? How do you know it's not 33%? Right. These are guesses. You know? Arbitrary numbers. They're arbitrary guesswork, and people are giving you their opinions, and opinions are like, you know what? Everybody's got one, right? So, <laughs> right. right? So that's just how it is. It's opinion. It's kind of like when I talk about fats. You know, There are a lot of nutritionists, including Dr. Wallach, who says don't eat fats. I think you should eat oil. You know, not rancid oil, and you got to make sure it's cold pressed and fresh. But that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. All right. So Doc has a different opinion. Other people have different opinions. And at the end of the day, there's no. It's not really factual. It's opinion, and you take all the research and your personal experience, and you see what happens as far as as far as eggs go. Just do do logically. Yes, allergies happen. That's true. But aside from that, you're looking at nature's perfect food with all the nutritional value you can possibly want from a food. There's no food gram for gram that's got more nutritional value. Why would you deprive yourself of that? That's my take. All right, buddy. Thanks. Does that help? Yeah, you bet. All right. Thanks, Brian, thanks man. So take care. Thanks for calling. All right. Uh, Cheryl in New York, NYC. Are you in the city? No, I'm in Buffalo, New York. Oh, Buffalo. Okay. What's going on? Yes. How, we, how can we help you? Yes, well, first of all, I want to quickly say I want to thank you, Ben, for sharing your God-given knowledge with us. You are truly a blessing. Praise God. Thank you. I really appreciate you saying that. That means a lot. How, what's going on? only got about a minute, though. How can we help you? Okay. Well, I have two quick questions. The first one is if a food product or a food like tapioca flour, which is carbohydrate-rich, uh, um, without sugar, is something like that better to use um, when we're trying to reduce our sugar intake? Because uh, it's a slower sugar, is what you're saying? I beg you your thinking pardon? It's a slower burning sugar, is that what you're saying? It's more starchy than sugary? Is that what you're I, I'm not sure what your question is. You're saying yes, it's tapioca? Yes, I'm saying like, flour has on a package, it has like 29, you know, uh, whatever grams, whatever of the sugar, but no, no, I mean carbohydrates, but no sugar. Yeah. That's a great question. That's a great question. So carbohydrates and sugar are typically synonymous, but fiber sometimes gets counted as a carbohydrate, but it's not really a sugar. And that's kind of an exception because fiber is not, is not digestible. So you won't raise your sugar even though it's a carbohydrate. And so fiber is a little bit different uh, than an ordinary sugar even though it gets counted as a carbohydrate. And indeed, fiber has the swelling effect that can not only slow down sugar release, this is why, why whole foods, even though they may have sugar in them, are not as bad for you as processed foods. The, the fiber will slow down the sugar release, but also it will fill you up so you won't eat as much. I hope I answered your question. If I didn't, please call back. Uh, Cheryl on uh, our next Bright Side episode. And thank you so much for your kind words. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for listening, friends. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.